Hey guys, what's going on? Tarbuck here. Today we're going to be playing some more Farming Simulator 2019. And yeah, we're back on the Sandy Bay map. James isn't here today. He had to do something else. But that's alright because we can go solo today. We can run solo. He'll probably be on a lot of the these uh, episodes. He's going to help me out on here. I like having another person just to kind of help out. And with this new dedicated server, it's really easy to get mods and stuff. And if you guys do want to play in like a 16 player map I I think I'm gonna do those like every Saturday or something the videos that have been posted before this and I think there's probably a few after this I'm not sure when this is gonna go up but yeah there'll be those videos they work pretty cool I like them a lot I don't know if you guys do or not let me know in the comments if you do and if you do I think I'll just post them once a week Saturday and then I'm gonna do kinda like a Sunday fun day thing here shortly you guys will see that it's really it's pretty neat um but yeah we're gonna get in the video here we got i went ahead and paused the time because this like sun is like bright like that and then if you run out here you can see oh, i thought you could see the ocean you can see like the clouds kind of it's pretty neat so we're gonna speed up time just to get rid of that because it does kind of look really bright and it's hard to see things on recording it's not bad in the uh, actual game here, but it's just hard to see with bright, bright sun like that. And let's see. So our corn is ready and our oats are ready and our beans that we planted are ready in the last video that we did on this map. This will be episode two today. We're going to buy a harvester now. I kind of like wanted to get this, but there's no really old school mods out. And this combine doesn't seem to... Uh, run is good and it's a default combine so everybody's seen it before and I kind of wanted to get the Massey I feel like this Massey's like kind of big I feel like it's a bigger machine than what people say it is plus I know a lot of you guys like to see this John Deere this John Deere is kind of pretty cool I got an eight-year-old head it's got a lot of cool attachments but I don't know if you can put front twins on it so I think we're gonna do wide tires like such because I think wide tires will give us more traction what do we have for these do we have twins no we're gonna do Michelin's wide tires we're gonna buy that we do have enough money it's a lot of money actually that combine is way overpriced I feel like or this one is way overpriced so are these this one too is really overpriced because yeah these a lot of the stuff in games really overpriced and we'd have some tractors bought we don't have a truck or a gravity wagon necessarily I couldn't really find any so I think we'll probably just buy the small one of these tippers I like this tipper because you can back it in and they put some cool customizations on them so we have all these with lizard tires and Michelin's and those kinda like the Michelin's we got white and we got oh the decals. I think I'm gonna do transparent. Just because they're better. We'll buy that. So we'll have to pick that one up. Should hold a good amount. And then we got corn heads to buy. We're gonna buy the eight row that goes on our combine. Plus we have an eight row planner, so the rows will line up in the game. And it's not really because you can run any size of planner and it doesn't matter. But in real life they would line up. We'll buy the old 25 foot. I don't know what the six stands for. This is 25 foot and not sure what the X is. But yeah, there's our new, oh boy, it got stuck. But we will, somehow I got tabbed out of the game. And I'm gonna jump back in game. There we go. So we'll go ahead and buy that, 45,000. A good old chunk of money and then yeah so we will need a sprayer not in this episode I don't think I'll buy one I'm gonna try and find a modded one or convert a small sprayer I'd really like a pull type one of these but they're really expensive and then of course we have a planter we do need a cedar there's really not any good cedars out there yet just the giant ones like this but I'd like to find like a little pull type, kind of like this. A little bigger than 3 meters though. 
If not, we'll just go ahead and buy this later. That'll be in the next few episodes. And then we're going to buy some hang equipment. We're going to go ahead and go... Should we go big? I kind of want to just buy these two, just because. But I feel like this one and this one will go good together. So I think I'll buy those two. What's the price difference? Honestly, we have a good amount of money. I think we'll wait to buy them. We'll buy the tetters. I'll buy this one just because it's a little bigger than that super small one. And then, of course, we'll need a windrower. We'll buy this one because it's American. Not to say that these aren't, but... And then we have to move some stuff, so we'll jump in the old combine. Oh, that's right, we have some fertilizer here. We need a header trailer. I'm going to unfold this just because you normally don't... I don't know. I like it when it's unfolded. And I think we'll put... Let's see. We're going to buy one header trailer, and we're going to put the flex head on it. So we'll go to header trailers, and we're going to buy this one. Or should we buy this one? What's the difference? This one looks more like a header trailer. This one's... I don't know, let's buy it and see. Is it cheaper? 4000 4000 same. I think we'll use that one. Hook on to that. Lift it up. Might as well drop the reel down. Because we don't need it up in the air like that. Just drop it all the way down in there. I think this head will fit. I'm not 100% sure. But I think it will. Let's back up forward and yeah these are going to be fairly short videos just so that I can post daily I am going to be posting daily now and we'll still try and crank out some good content they're probably going to be 15 to 20 minutes long and I clipped a fertilizer thing there we go spin around this combine really don't doesn't turn that short I've already hit lots of things already Oh, and I forgot to slow my time down, so I don't think this will show up too bad on there. Just drive forward. Oh boy, we're going to have to do something here. Slide it over some more. There we go. Drop it on like that. We'll take that home, and we'll take the combine home. And then we're going to get the corn head. I think we'll probably pick corn first. And then we'll go cut beans and the other. And oats. We'll, do, we'll probably do that in this video towards the end. We'll for sure pick corn. Um, that sucks that I did that time thing. I knew I would. I always do that. I always speed it up thinking I'll uh, get to it later and then I forget about it. Can we hook that up? Not really. Yeah, we probably should have got the bigger header. Oh, there's a light in the cab? I didn't know that. But yeah, this is the old T560i. I think this is more of a... Not necessarily American version, or... Crap, can I know that? Well, we'll take this home, and we're going to bring the other two machines home, and I'm going to run into some more stuff. Just because the driving on this, I still haven't... Especially this combine, for some reason it doesn't snap back right away that fast. But we'll take this one home, go down the road, and I think to go... I can go this way. I don't think there's a train in the game. So that is one thing to be good about, I guess. Okay, so we went ahead and went back to the shop and got the trailer. We, did, we still have the header trailer at the shop. But I'll get that off camera back to the house for the next episode. And today, we got this home. I went ahead and sped up through night so that we should be able to run this. We're going to turn it on and I believe... 
Yeah, all the stuff works in the front. What about the snapping rolls? Even the snapping rolls underneath the header work. The little things that are rolling underneath there. So that's pretty neat. Giants did a good job on that. What else we got running? The chopper in the back. Cool, cool. Oh, already got it all messed up. Alright, so we're going to pick some corn. And I believe the rows should line up. So I'm going to try and line them up the best I can. Are we doing eight? So we are able to get eight rows. But I don't think they all line up because this end row is not doing it. But the yield isn't going to be that great. I'll probably just pick the border. I don't know. The border's pretty well picked. I might time lapse like the first load. Just sitting here picking. And yeah. So it is pretty weedy. Uh, we didn't have a sprayer so I didn't really bother to spray it. I think I might be able to make a land and go through there. And this field is by the edge of the map, so you'll see the emptiness of the map a lot. I'm just going to choose some rows and go down it. So yeah, it makes it more realistic when there's weeds in there. Um, and we will have to plow this field now because we planted it to corn. So now you, we'll have to plow it. And for some reason that says beans, I don't know why. But... We're picking corn, so that's the thing that counts. I'm going to go ahead and time lapse a little bit of this. I'll probably end it here. Um, yeah, we'll probably haul corn and cut beans, or maybe mow, mow some hay, maybe. We'll see. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button and enjoy the time lapse. About to leave. Already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking We'll get away, to a place where we don't know About to see, the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions